What's going on everyone? Yesterday we got the first Scream 6 little teaser trailer and it was great. Just enough to get us pumped, just enough to get us excited, just enough to, to kind of get us talking, right? And get the marketing uh, stream going. Uh, myself and the rest of the collective guys, we cannot wait for Friday's live stream to just talk with you all, break it all down, hear your perspectives and hear your opinions as well as share ours. That's something that we're really looking forward to. But in that trailer, we got this uh, little end screen end card confirming that the Scream uh, 6 is Scream 6, right? The 6 is going to be Roman numerals. There's lots of talks. Is it going to have a subtext? Is it going to be Scream with the two exclamation points? And then the kind of like the 6 layered in to the exclamation points. Like what is going, what is it going to be? Got our confirmation now uh, that it's going to be Scream 6. And I just like this so much more personally myself. Uh, it's just so much crisp, so much cleaner. Um, I really like, and I like the aesthetic of like the blood dripping down uh, the V in the I. I thought that was really cool. And of course, I want to hear what you think down in the comment section. But one thing that we got with this little card is the look of Ghostface, right? Ghostface's mask, it's it looks like it's falling apart, looking like it's decaying. I've seen people calling it like the zombie ghost face. Uh, I can kind of understand that. You know, it kind of looks like a decay mask. It doesn't really look like a zombie. I mean, it looks like an old mask. And I'm really curious to see what uh, this ends up being. Like, is this Billy's mask? Is this Stu's mask? Is this like a killer before those two? You know, maybe Billy got inspiration from somebody else that donned the mask. Is there going to be some big major tie-in dating back to the original? Like, what's going to happen here? I'm really actually excited and curious to see uh, if there's if there's any plot points or details with this mask. And hopefully there are. Uh, but beyond the little in-screen trailer... Uh, that showed this ghost face mask and then uh, confirming the actual title of Scream 6. What we also got is this first image. Uh, it's the first of, uh, first exclusive look at Ghostface or the new Ghostface in Scream 6. Uh, again, if you've uh, followed my channel or uh, Craven Something Scaries, Killjoy Jakes, uh, Nightwatch Zone, uh, any of the collective people, I'm sure you've seen the videos uh, breaking down the museum. Right, you have the Ghost Face Museum, and all the masks are stolen. Uh, somebody took the mask. Very likely, we're going to get to see several uses of masks. Right in the trailer, you saw the the clear, you know, Colgate white mask. Right, and that's the mask that many people actually want and prefer. Um, just from based on what we've seen in like the comment sections and stuff like that, seeing people with the Colgate white mask, uh, which. I imagine they're going to have those because I imagine we're going to see several variations of the mask. But this one, again, I'm curious to see, is this like the first mask? Is this the original mask? Uh, which would make sense. I mean, it'd be 25 years old. It's probably just been collecting dust and sitting somewhere in like uh, an evidence locker for the last 25 years until this museum opened and they finally released it. And now you have these like, you know, super fans or whatever the plot ends up being going and getting the uh, the ghost face mask to to kind of use in, in this killing spree. And I just, I don't know, I really like this look. I really like the, the clean sort of cut. And, and it kind of makes me wonder, is this somebody that's older, right? I know, I know here, because uh, many of you uh, follow Craven Something Scary, and many of you are on the stew train. And so I'm sure many of you are hoping or thinking that this is Stu Mocker under the mask. And maybe it is. It's all, it never, you know, you never know until something happens. Um, I don't think it's likely. I mean, if again, if you follow me or you follow the Lethal Collective, you know how I feel personally about the stew thing. Um, but you never know. It could be a possibility or it could just be somebody older in general, right? Maybe it's somebody with ties in, tie-ins to the past, somebody that's tied in to the original. I mean, that could be something that that is the case. That could be something that is a part of it. Um, you know, I, I I don't rule really anything out. Who knows what direction they're going to do with Scream 6. And that's kind of the beauty of it, right? The, the beauty of it is not knowing what is going to happen. There's so many different directions, so many different possibilities, and just things that they could do to, to kind of, uh, you know, just Keep it fresh. Keep it excited. I really do think that this might be the best sequel we've got. I don't think anything will ever really top Scream uh, 96. I just don't. I think for what it did to the franchise as well as what it did to horror movies in general, like period, I just don't think there's ever going to be topping it. But I think this could be the best sequel. I really do. I think it just, it has all the potential in the world. Now, will they deliver and execute it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out, uh, you know, in three months now, right? We're right around the corner. That'll be here before we realize it. And I'm excited to, to see the marketing campaign and see, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to do those collaborations? Are we going to get 
you know, the voice changer? Are we going to get the, the VR ghost face uh, thing that they did? Are we going to get, like, another version of Two Brash Sarah? Like, all of us have, like, are we going to get Airbnb thing? Like, wh like what, are, what are they going to do? What is going to be the plans? How are they going to do these collaborations and continue the hype? Uh, and speaking of marketing and hype and stuff like that, we also got the first official poster, which, again, is something that Scream 5 did tremendously, right? Scream 5 was pumping out posters, uh, like, every other day. A lot of them were, like, Creepy Duck design posters that, you know, that the, the studio would kind of doctor up or do whatever and then release them. Uh, they had something worked out. They didn't just, like, steal them from the guy. But, you know, and, and like... The posters are an easy marketing play, right? Because we get excited, we get pumped. Uh, it gives people something to download and, you know, use as a screensaver or, you know, blow up a poster or the image and then put it on their wall or stuff. Like, it just gives people something to get excited for, something pumped, you know, something to add to a collection that doesn't really cost anything, that doesn't really do anything or require anything. It's just an easy marketing play. It gets us talking, it gets us excited, people are sharing it, and just, you know, it's creating marketing um i also have concerns you know of how much marketing they'll put into this are they going to look at this one as like okay it's a sequel there's enough people that know this movie exists we don't need to do the crazy marketing that we did in scream 5 and kind of take a step back marketing because i imagine all the marketing that they did it was not cheap now the posters and stuff i don't think that like what does that take i mean they could literally do a contest right now and say like you know submit submit your posters for scream and we'll give you like, you know, a signed poster from Radio Silence or something like that uh, of like the winners. And you take like a hundred of those entries and turn them into actual posters or even like 10 of them and turn them into actual posters. And then just sign 10 posters, send them people. Like there are enough diehard fans that would love to submit posters, not get paid, not do anything. Just be able to say like, that's my poster. I designed that poster. That's the poster that I did. Right. Like people would love that. Right. And and just to be able to, to have that connection and that tie in for the rest of your life to the Scream franchise. Like that would be cool. Like wh why not do something like that? It's free. It costs you nothing. Right. And then you have all these people submitting posters that you could use um, to to pump to, you know, kind of market and promote the movie. There are ways to do it. There are ways to be creative. Um, and I'm really curious to see how they do it and how creative they get with all this stuff. Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. But anyway, as always, is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you, do you like the the look of like the sort of decayed ghost face mask? The, you know, the mask that's falling apart, like the paint's chipping. Uh, it's a little more grayer than white. Are you a fan of that, or do you like the you know the the all white mask, the the OG mask? Are, are you okay with that? Do you want like several different variations of masks? Like, would you like if there are multiple killers? Like, yeah, use. Mask from Scream 2, the Mask from Scream 3, so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, every mask, for the most part, not all of them, but most of the masks have had some slight changes. Not, like, major significantly, but enough to know. And I would imagine if it's a museum, like, all the masks are tagged. Like, this is Billy's mask, this is Mickey's mask, this is so on and so forth. So, I do imagine that that's a, a, a part of this. So, that's how we would probably know which mask is which. Um, but are you okay with that? Like... Do you want, like, do you think that maybe there's a tie-in? And if so, like, what type of tie-in do you think it has? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them. And then also, what do you think of the first poster? Do you like the poster? Do you hate the poster? How do you feel about the poster? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comment section below. And don't miss this Friday's live stream with the Lethal Collective. We do live streams every Monday and Friday, uh, three 2.30 p.m. Pacific time on Monday, and then 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on Friday. Uh, so... Again, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll see you all in the next one.